All right, so we're doing a, a quick mock-up, black and white only, because we don't have a lot of ink. And if you don't know how to open these, you just very carefully pull that out like that. This is what we're after here. The back tray, I'm gonna do the back tray first, because that's the, one, the only one that needs uh, scoring. So it's this one, right? And remember, some of you guys, there's a reason why these don't print on your, on your PDF, and I want you guys to figure that out. All right, I did that on purpose. This person figured it out. All right, so this is our spine, right? Right there, okay? Spine. Now, if you were in a professional setting, in a college setting, some of you guys are gonna go to college and do some of this stuff, they're gonna make you do mock-ups of something. I guarantee you at UTEP and at NMSU for sure because I know the people there, the professors there, right? So say that you're waiting the day before all this is due and you're waiting at the, at the student print lab and you only have one shot at getting these printed on the good quality paper that you need for the final ones, right? Yes, everybody know what I'm talking about? And I'm telling you guys, sometimes it happens where it's the last minute, you're trying to get things done and that's when things go wrong. Yes, anybody know what I'm talking about? You're like, I can't believe the universe, God, whatever, is messing me up like this, why? Okay, don't do this while eating red hot Cheetos. Why? The dust. Yeah, you're gonna get it all messed up, right? If you're doing something professional, you want it to be clean, you want it to be nice. I've shown you guys you can cover stuff up to protect it, right? Imagine this was the highest quality glossy photo print and it's your final one and you don't wanna mess it up, right? Do it nice, that's our motto here, right? Okay, now here's the question. If, and I've shown you guys how to score stuff, right? If this is a beautiful glossy photo print, would you want to score it on top and scratch the ink? No. No. We would want to score it from the back. How do we do that if we can't see where the, the score marks are? Here's an old trick. You get your X-Acto knife, right? This is a spine. This is the only part where we're going to score. You poke through it right on the score mark. I just push down. This mat is made to cut into. Push down like that. Like that. And if I go to the back, oh, I got these cool marks. Guess what? That's where I'm gonna score. They're just little tiny little marks. And I try to be as accurate as possible. And I score that one. All right. This is the pro way, the do it nice way of doing a nice mock-up for a CD. You should want to be able to just master this. It's not difficult. There you can see the scores. I don't know if you can see them, right? And now, it's time to cut this out. Now these are the crop marks, the outer ones, right? Remember what I've told you guys, if you're doing a mock-up, don't cut all the way through because then you lose the other ones that you cut across and you'll see what I mean right now. Always cut within the crop mark, like I'm gonna literally start at the crop mark, look at the angle, Look at my hand. For those of you guys that still struggle with the X-Acto knife, look at how I'm putting my hand and using this to guide me. Alright. Right there. Okay, make sure it's it's actually the crop. Same thing. Now, here's where you gotta be careful. You don't wanna cut this this one on the inside. That's our our uh, score. You want to cut only the outside ones on this insert tray artwork. The outside ones. And you'll have a video for this. It's still recording? Nice. Look at that, how beautiful. Boom. Right? There's our bleed, our example of our bleed. In the real printing world of graphic design, that's what you want to see. Check it out. Here's my insert. Here is my score. All I have to do is that with nice clean fingers, not red hot Cheetos. And it literally wants to be folded nice. There's my insert tray. Look how beautiful that fits. Put that guy back in, snap it into place. Make sure I didn't squash my spine. There it is, very nice. There's the back artwork. There's the other spine. And this is where you check it. Right? If it's not looking right, we need to adjust it in your file. But that looks pretty good. 
What do you guys think? Mixed Easy peasy, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the other one, all we're doing is cutting it out, and that's going to be, remember, these are, when we get these finally done, we're at, probably going to have to glue them back to back because it's supposed to be just one sheet, right? So this is the front, that's the back. I don't know if I'm going to run out of time on the video, but anyway, uh, Angel had already helped us out with the other part of this. My phone's going crazy over there. All right. But again, you always want to do a quick mock-up. And the reason we're doing black and white right now is because we're really low on ink toner. There's an example of a good bleed. Right, and there's the front. And I'm not going to do this one for the video. You obviously understand that that is the back. That would be the back of this. Cool. And then this is where you check it. Right? Oh, it's too, the, the design's too much this way, right? Look at the gap, look at the spacing, all the stuff we've talked about as far as graphic design. But it looks pretty good.